Hi there and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of a uh, product that I purchased from Amazon and this is called the Apexel High Power Telephoto Lens with remote and uh, for the iPhone. So my reason for purchasing this um, is because I think it will maybe help enhance my uh, videos, hopefully for my channel. And it's a small, lightweight um, telephoto lens that you can attach to your iPhone. And I just thought while I'm out in the garden, you know, I got lots of birds coming around and the hummingbirds are buzzing around my head. And it would just be so nice to be able to stop and be able to zoom in on some of these uh, nice uh, wildlife around me and maybe, you know, use it on some of my videos. I spend a lot of my time working from home now and I have a nice office in the living room overlooking my front yard and I've really become a bird nerd. Um, I got bird baths and bird feeders and um, lots of finches and uh, chickadees and a whole bunch of different kinds of birds come in to eat and bath and I just thought this would be really cool to um, maybe capture some of that as well. So I'm going to open this up and see what it's all about and then we'll hook it up to my iPhone and test it out. So again here is the box. It's quite compact and it looks like it's kind of a mini zoom lens that we should be getting here. And the other thing that was appealing to me is that it comes with a remote. So I thought if I can, you know, set it up on my camera stand um, near the bird bath or some whatever I'm trying to film. Maybe that little chipmunk that I'm pretty sure is um, eating some of my, my vegetables in the garden. I thought if I could set it up on a, on a tripod and uh, just run the remote from a, from a distance that I could maybe really get some cool videos. So this is the remote. It looks like the same kind of little mini remote you get with most of your attachments that go with the iPhone. So it comes in this little carrying case, which is kind of cool. It's got a little um, clip on it so you can attach it maybe to your tripod, little handle so it's easy to carry around. So I like that it's very compact. So it appears to be made out of metal, so it feels pretty solid. So I realized uh, there is no stand with this. It just shows a picture of a stand on the box, but it's an extra uh, attachment, of course, that you would have to order. But um, I do have a couple of my own stands right now, so hopefully this will work with that. So I've attached this piece on here and it seems to uh, turn it into a telescope, so to speak. So you can use it just as a regular telescope I guess without actually attaching it to your camera so if I wanted to just look out the window or catch something I can I can actually see it's a very small circle but it does definitely um, bring things a little closer okay so I think I got this figured out so I've, I've just brought one of my little tripods here just so this is uh, set up and I can attach this easily so this little gadget here is what is going to go onto your phone over top of the lens. And you just loosen it up and slide it over the camera. Now my personal phone has the double um, lenses there, but it looks like it will fit for both. So that's good. So I'm just going to tighten it up. See how it works there. So that just screws into that there. Just tighten it and okay so this is what it looks like when it's all put together. The only part that I didn't add to this was this and I believe by reading the instructions if you were to purchase their tripod that you see in the picture here, this is just a part that would uh, you'd slide over the lens and it would screw into their tripod. So, so 
So we're just using mine here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take this around my house and my yard and see if I can uh, capture some, some cool stuff using this telephoto lens. So here's my camera set up in my living room, which um, overlooks the bird bath. And this is kind of gives you a visual of what it looks like set up on my tripod. So if I was to just use my camera with the zoom lens standing at the window, this is uh, basically the cl as close as I can get to um, the birds that I'm watching bath here. So I just want to show you the uh, difference between using your camera without the lens and then using the telephoto lens. So I tried uh, just doing some filming with uh, holding the camera in my hand with this small uh, tripod here and just walking around the yard. Um, I did find that it is a little harder to hold the camera steady and get a steady shot of things. So having a um, stable tripod um, is actually better for this camera lens. So I'm just trying to film this little chipmunk here while holding the camera and uh, as you can see it, it's a little shaky. So here I was able to capture a cute little gopher uh, snacking on some of the droppings from the bird feeder. And you can use the zoom feature on your camera to get even closer to your subject that you're trying to video or take a photo of. So here's another setup I did with my tripod. Um, I have it sitting on the bird feeder out by my garden and just having it ready for when some uh, birds or maybe the little chipmunk shows up and then just using the remote to press the record button and start videoing. So if you enjoy capturing videos or photos of all the wildlife um, while you're outside in your garden or yard, or even want to try it from the comfort of uh, inside your house, I give the Apexel telephoto lens the thumbs up. It's an easy to use economical lens that works with any type of smartphone. And I've left a link to this item in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video and will continue to follow along with me on my channel.